welcome to another vlog. So for today's video, we'll be doing another activity in Anatomy and Physiology Laboratory. And this activity is related to the sense organs. So we will be doing different tests that involves our five senses. There is seeing test, there is hearing test, and there is also this taste buds test. And this activity, we will be doing it again with a partner. So without further ado, let's go on to the video. For this experiment, the monitor should reach its full brightness. A Snellen chart will be used, reading each letters from the top to the bottom, ranging until line 11. Through a far distance, I let my subject cover one of her eyes while reading the letters that she saw on the chart. And this is her results, which indicates that she have normal visual acuity. Next, I let her repeat the reading, but this time covering the other eye. Then I let her do the same procedure with her glasses on. This is her results. It seems that she have a better score with glasses on than without. For this test, same procedure was applied at the previous one. But this time, it showed some images that will test my mother's presence of astigmatism or not. And here is the results. It seemed that my mother have no astigmatism present. For this test, I let her cover one of her eyes once again. But now, I'm letting her make a closer distance by moving towards the screen closer to test for her presence of blind spot if there is any. Same procedure applied, this test require through correction of glasses compared to without glasses. This experiment was basically to test for my mother's color blindness. Pictures were shown on the screen while my mother is in a farther distance reading the numbers of every image. Same procedures in the previous tests were also applied. Here are some images that I've mentioned. It seemed that her results showed normal vision with glasses than without. For this test, I let one of my friends do it for me. So basically, this experiment is to test for my subject's hearing whether she have the presence of hearing loss or not. It contains a website where my friend will answer several questions about her hearing experience, then a test of sound measuring the frequency of her hearing. And here are her results. It seems that she had the presence of slight hearing loss at both of her ears. This activity requires to test for my friend's balance. I used a pencil for an alternative of the chalk. 
I let my partner stand in front of the wall with feet together but facing away from the wall. Then, I mark the edges of my partner using a pencil. I let her stand for about 2 minutes and observing her position with her eyes both open. After which, I mark the edges of my love partner once again using a pencil. This time, I let her stand for another 2 minutes but with her eyes closed. Then I mark her edges again, then I record the results. For this taste buds test, all we need is some paper towels and a few amount of sugar. By folding some paper towels, I used to dry the surface of my tongue like without the presence of saliva in. Then I put a few amount of sugar on my dry tongue. It took me a long time until I finally tasted the sugar on my tongue. Duration was exactly 40 seconds. I tasted the sugar as my tongue moistened a little, having my taste buds get activated. Tum is best. Sige, thumbs up na lang for me. And that is all for this video. So I hope you have enjoyed and learned something. And thanks for watching.